the game. Spins a web, any size. Catch your feet, just like guys. Look out, here comes the Spider-Man. Spider-Man Life Story is a six-issue limited series written by Chip Zdarsky and drawn by Mark Bagley with inks from John Dell and colours from Frank Diamata. Peter Parker also started his own family, of course, with requisite amount of Peter Parker appropriate tragedies. God forbid we have a Spider-Man comic without a few deaths along the way. For this particular video, I want to take a look at a page taken from the last issue of this series. And I want to take a look at it through the lens of Scott McCloud, the author of the critically acclaimed Understanding Comics, The Invincible Art. Now, this particular page depicts Peter Parker's final moments as he sacrificed himself to free the world from Doctor Doom's Iron Fist. Now, having rid the world of superheroes, Doctor Doom now controls it through his technology. As a last-ditch attempt, Peter Parker and Miles Morales flies to a space station owned by Tony Stark to activate a device called the Doomsday Pulse to rid the world of Doctor Doom's technology. Anyway, I'd rather not spoil you the plot any further, so let's take a look at the page itself. Before we dive into the page, let's take a look at how the characters are drawn. Mark Bagley, the man who drew this comic, made sure that this series has a style that is reminiscent of the Amazing Spider-Man comic series, meaning that the characters have a certain realistic style to them, with the trademark comic book proportions thrown in. Now, on sequentiality, gutter and transition, and paneling. Presented with a classic left to right, top to bottom reading sequence, this page depicts two scenes happening at the same time. One physically happening, and one happening inside Peter Parker's mind. As such, there is not much for us, the reader have to fill in in the gutter. If you want to see a better example of the classic gutter and closure, I think the final page of the third issue in this series would be a better bet. Structurally, as you can see, the panels are drawn in such a way that we know which ones are physically happening and which ones are happening inside Peter Parker's mind, like the one on the very top of the page. Here, we are greeted with the sight of Peter finding the assurance, the closure he needs before his sacrifice and impending doom. The panel depicting Peter Parker and MJ are all white, peaceful and almost otherworldly, a stark contrast to Peter's fiery final moments. This particular panel also bleeds through the page. Now, Peter's conversation with MJ, especially MJ in herself, bleeds through the panels and serves as a glue that ties the whole page together. Here, Peter needs the reassurance that he could finally rest before he dies, and he asks whether his children will be okay if he leaves, whether Otto or Dr. Oct will not break his promise and MJ gave him that reassurance. Indeed, MJ, or Mary Jane, has been his rock since Gwen Stacy died earlier in the series. We, the reader, knows that he's going to die here, doing what he does best, where his heroism at its finest. This juxtaposition between his peaceful bliss inside his mind and his attempt and struggle to hold the Space Station together amplifies Peter's cathartic sacrifice. Ultimately, Life Story is a love letter to Spider-Man and our 60-year relationship with the character. We are given a perfect example of what Spider-Man would be if he grows up just like us. And we are also given a satisfying, albeit bittersweet closure to the legend that is Peter Parker.